So if you are renting and thinking about buying a home, now might not be the right time. I'll tell you, now is probably not the right time to purchase. And there's a few reasons why. So right now, first of all, inventory is low. I better check this, sorry. <laughs> inventory is low. And the reason inventory is low is because we have a lot of homeowners who bought their homes between 2018 and 2022 that are in these super low interest rate mortgages. Um, there's also, so another thing that plays into that is the, the statistic is 75% of uh, homeowners that bought their homes during that time period do not like their homes. People that bought during COVID felt forced into the purchase. So inventory is low and it's hard to convince those homeowners to get out of those low interest rate mortgages. So there's one reason. Um, we are seeing that rates are coming down. We think that with the new presidency, rates are expected to continue to come down. The other interesting thing is that it's predicted that once rates hit about that 5% mark, that that is the time at which those home homeowners are going to be motivated to get out of those mortgages. So the 5% is kind of the, uh, the, the line five percent and below we think that'll uh, motivate them to get out of those homes because 75 percent of them don't like them so that's the good thing we think that uh, in the very end of the winter spring spring and summer market should be great as far as inventory goes the cost of money is going to be lower so because interest rates will be down not only are we going to have more inventory but you're going to have more buying power as a buyer. So I also wanna give you five things you can do now to get you ready if you are going to buy a home then or thinking about buying a home then. So number one is right now, we're at the end of November. This is a time when everybody should be looking at their taxes, um, just doing a review. If you have an accountant, that's a great time to just touch base with them. Um, and run your tax numbers. If you are not pre-approved already or working with a lender, a lender can help you with this stuff. So a lender can go in and just do a do a quick pre-approval and tell you, hey, if your you know if your um, income is this by the end of the year, I'm going to be able to pre-approve you for this. So it's a good time to get things in line because once January first hits, that's what it is. Um, so basically, do your end of the year tax review, get pre-approved. A lender is also going to be able to give you advice for your um, credit score. So they may tell you, you know, uh, get a credit card or use a card you already have and buy your Starbucks on it once a week and pay it off at the end of the month. Or they can tell you what dates to pay your to make your payment so that your tax, um, your credit score increases. <laughs> so that's number three is follow the advice of your lender. Um, Number four, set up a, an account with a real estate agent. I know a lot of people are on um, Zillow and Redfin, but really get an agent that is going to put you on an email list where you are emailed immediately when something comes on the market. Also, we're able to really work with parameters um, a little bit better and can, can really tailor things to your, uh, to your liking. So do that and then once 2024 hits, do your taxes. You have to have your taxes done for your, um, for your pre-approval if you're, if you're going to be purchasing in 2025. So get them done, get all that stuff lined up. It's going to be a great time to buy next year uh, because of inventory and the anticipated uh, interest rates being lower. So that's it, that's your five things you can do. Hold off on buying right now, guys. <laughs>